Okay, so let's jump into this video and talk about our engine protection features we're going to be working with in our FuelTech Manager software. We're going to find when we want to set a protection feature, such as oil pressure protection or an overboost cut. We're going to have a certain section of the software, it's going to be called Engine Alert Settings, that we're going to be working with, which is going to be our engine protection features. We'll find we have a whole bunch of channels that we can set up protection features for. They're going to be already predefined for us. Now, we're going to have to select between a warning a rev limiter or an engine shutdown. So there's gonna be three different severities uh, when we want to take action if we have a particular channel that's going to be potentially causing a problem. So for example, if we have low oil pressure, we would probably want to go and shut the engine down so it doesn't damage the engine. But if we have a boost cut, we might want to go and just apply a rev limiter so it doesn't allow us to go beyond that point. There's gonna be different uh, methods that we want to go implement with the severity for the engine protection features. I'm going to be going through all of them in this video and giving you suggestions of what I would normally set these at so you have some guidelines and dialing in your engine protection before you start doing your tuning process. So you don't have to worry about damaging the engine if anything goes wrong. So we're going to have a lot to cover. Let's jump into the video so we can check this out. Okay, so let's get started here. We're going to be taking a look at our engine protection features using our FuelTech Manager software. So the very first thing we're going to do to take a look at all of our programming capability, jump in here to our quick access panel. Let's move down here to our last option, alert settings. We double click this, a window is going to pop up here. This is going to be where we find all of our engine protection features we have to work with. So let's actually go here and close our quick access panel. So we have our alert settings here just front and center so we can take a look at them without having anything else on the screen. So we'll find here with the alert settings, we have three different ways we can implement an alert or protection feature find that we're going to have a warning that's going to pop up on our dash if we have some kind of a condition that's going to be exceeding um, whatever we program here. So whether it's going to be an oil pressure based problem or an engine temperature based problem, we have the ability to flash just a warning message on the dash. It's not going to take any action, it's not going to rev limit the engine, it's not going to shut the engine down, it's simply going to be warning us that there's a problem. The next level of severity that we have that we can program is going to be our safe mode RPM limiter. So if we have a condition, if we toggle on one of these uh, these conditions here and we turn on the option for safe mode, it's going to be warning us on our dash and it's going to be applying a rev limiter that we go and designate it right here. So we can find the safe mode RPM limiter set here for 2500 as the default. Depending on what kind of engine you have and what you're doing, you might want to go ahead and bump this up a little bit higher. So you have some options there. Now the last method that we have for engine protection is going to be the engine shutoff method. This is going to be used if we have a condition that's going to be dangerous for the engine to operate in, such as oil pressure dropping below a 